Today, we will be discussing several factors that influence the intensity and coloration of your flower horn. There are several factors that affect the flower horn's coloration. These include, but certainly are not limited to, diet, lighting, age, breeding, and genetics. In the wild, a fish's diet drastically affects its overall health and coloration. Fish prey upon insects, fish, and even small mammals to derive the necessary proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, and minerals. A varied diet offers the best results as food items differ in nutritional content. To maximize your fish's health and coloration, the same technique should be employed. I suggest offering a variety pelleted diet supplemented with live or frozen foods. After all, variety is most definitely the spice of life. Astaxanthin. Astaxanthin will enhance the red and orange coloration of your fish. It is derived from natural food sources such as krill and shrimp. Canaxanthin is a synthetic form of astaxanthin. Spirulina. Spirulina will enhance the blue coloration and the pearling effect of your fish. In nature, it is abundantly found in blue-green algae. Xanthophil. Xanthophil will enhance the yellow coloration of your fish. Although only a few products are commercially available, alternatively, you can supplement your fish's diet with certain cichlid or even goldfish pellets. Another alternative would be to look for foods containing marigold powder, dried egg, or even gluten cornmeal, as these will also enhance your fish's yellow coloration. Live foods. Live foods contain a variety of nutritional benefits that directly affect the overall health and coloration of your flower horn. For example, shrimp, krill, and bloodworms have been shown to enhance the red coloration of your flower horn. Lighting. Cool daylight fluorescent lamps are considered by most aquarists to be the best choice in terms of showcasing your fish's beauty. Many hobbyists prefer cool daylight fluorescent bulbs to pure white or light blue fluorescent bulbs because they tend to be less invasive and subtle than pure white or light blue bulbs and tend to better enhance your flower horn's red tones. LED lights can also be used provided that they are not too bright. Age. Fish begin to develop color at around three to four months of age, roughly when they are about two and a half to four inches in size. Colors will continue to intensify through maturity and adulthood, and males typically achieve better and more pronounced coloration than females. In addition, as a fish reaches the latter years of its life, typically between eight to 10 years, assuming good health, the colors will inevitably begin to fade. Breeding. Hormones, chemical messengers released by the endocrine glands, regulate behaviors such as aggression and mating. Peacocking displays genetic fitness and viability. In community tanks, this phenomenon is more prevalent as males fight to determine a hierarchy with the alpha male displaying the most vivid coloration. In addition, introducing a female flower horn to the tank or even having one with an eyesight of a mature male will oftentimes result in better coloration. Genetics. Regardless of your flower horn's diet, the lighting you select, its age, or even of its intent to breed, the depth of your flower horn's coloration and patterning will most greatly be influenced by its genetic makeup. Extensive selective breeding produces the finest and most appealing stock in terms of coloration and overall appearance. In conclusion, diet, lighting, age, breeding, and genetics will influence your flower horn's coloration and patterning. Providing optimal conditions will enable your fish to achieve its full genetic potential. Flower horns are a great fish, and the amount of time, energy, and money you invest into your pet directly correlates to his health, happiness, and ultimately to his coloration. As always, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below.